In today's video, we're going to earn thousands of gems for doing absolutely no work. How are we going to do this? We're going to do this via migration or passport migration. Now, this is my Looper account. Uh, if you don't know what a Looper account is, it's quite simply an account where I intend to replay KVK1 twice. And the way I'm going to do that is by restricting my power and staying below 10 million uh, and then going uh, AFK for 30 days and looping back to the start of KVK1 just for a bit of fun. But let's first let's earn these gems. First thing we're going to do is just grab uh, the rewards for the events of today. So there's 650 gems there. I've also got the uh, rewards from the Karuka ceremony. I'm sure I didn't say that right, but they're nice to have. Also, last night, I grabbed two past three rewards, which is a nice bonus for leaving the kingdom. Now, you might ask, why are the rewards so huge for migration, for passport migration, pre-KVK1? And the answer is, who knows? I just haven't got a clue. I can't think why they would incentivize this behavior. No idea. But let's take advantage of it anyhow. So, onto the map. So, this was originally a sleeper account. And I started back in uh, 31, 3131. But instead of doing the full sleeper uh, or going my max 10 days, I only went 9 days to 3140. And I've spent 30 days here farming the. Um, this uh, kingdom because they had they didn't really have any whales so I was able to farm the Sunset Canyon was it rank 1, rank 1, rank 1 rank 1, which for a free to play player is a huge bonus in um, in experience and gold keys and a, a few extras, but anyhow back to the migration, here we go now you're going to wish I knew it was a I did a bit of editing, but I don't, so you're just going to have to watch this. So, boom, fulfilled, brilliant. So this is my max. If I go to 42, it should be red. Nope, I can't go there. It's beyond my 10 days of where I started, but I can go to 41. I don't know which zone to go to, so I'm just going to go to any. I'll be stuck for 30 days, but that's fine. I've been stuck for 30 days there. This is going to reset my map, of course, which is going to be good for picking up some more um, level 3 high caves. In principle, though, to get the monument reward for clearing the fog, I'm going to have to really go for it. I've only got about a week. So here we are. Let's see what rewards we've got. So remember, we've just picked up this 650. Here we go into the events. Let's have a look. So that's we've I say the events are now in sync, so that's the exact same. But hold on, what's this? Why has that got a red? So that's I've done all of those, that's good. But anyhow, here's the juicy bit. Into the monument, and let's see what we've got. Ready. So 200, 400, 900, 1400, 3400. Uh, 3,009, 4,400, 4,900, come on, 4,009, 5,004, 5,009, oh, loving it, 5,900 gems, uh, which is a pretty good haul for doing absolutely nothing, let's open those up, don't know where those 50 came from, Grab all of this. So 27,000 has gone to 34,000 for no work whatsoever. Let's now... Oh, I've got 14 gold keys. That'll be fun to open. Unfortunately, I'm right, right at the bottom of Sunset Canyon, though. So I'm going to have to fight my way back to the top. There are quite a few whales here. So I'm probably not going to have quite as much fun as I usually do in Sunset Canyon. But let's uh, do this later, because that's not very interesting. 
Let's go and open. We've done the gems. Let's do the keys. What do I really need? Some Sun Tzu's would be really useful. Sun Tzu. Bang. No chance. Okay. Uh, okay. That was pretty bad. So that was really bad for 14 keys. Nothing really I wanted there. I've already got Joan expertised. So that's nothing. Let's apply for the top one. Hang about. No way. We just... We've just gone... I thought another level would just move there. Never mind. I've got it. Let's go to the Alliance. Try and join a good one. That looks pretty good. They've got a spot. You never know my luck. Let's hope I can get in there. What's the minimum power? Oh, they haven't said a minimum power. But I will talk to those in a bit. Now, how else... Hang about. Am I in? No, I'm not in thought I was already in let's have a little look how is this looper account doing how am I restricting my power firstly I have no economic technology past gold so I've got none of this no engineering no math mathematics nothing like that what I have got though is I am progressing uh, I've only got one of the tier fours that I plan to use, and I am progressing, of course, combat tactics, defensive formation, and herbal medicine because they're always useful. I am, of course, uh, starting to get quite an army going. There's my troops. So I've got 120k in tier four, which is not bad for a free to play player at this stage. Uh, of course, expedition. I'm doing quite well because of my tier four. I'm on 50. Eight, which I'm surprised I can't do. I'll have a look at that later. Um, I have not done Loha at all. He's level one, which has been interesting. I've of course been using City Keeper and Tommen as my um, what's, what's the word as my um, peacekeepers because of their reduced the they can reduce the cost to attack a barbarian by 10 so i've been just using that and it's been quite success successful at channeling oh, more ap more sorry more experience point into my top five but of course after this many days the low hard discount or extra 70 percent would really be starting to make a difference so perhaps that's a mistake but i don't care it was worth a try certainly my city keeper and Tommen are far higher level than they were in my last attempt. Where I was having to then try and swap them out for other commanders. But I'm just going to keep them in the Sunset Arena team. Because it's been quite successful. Although I've had a pretty bad time in the Sunset events. I've been getting beaten quite early. Unfortunately um, I've got to do the map again. Which is insane. But if we have a look here. I believe that pass threes have not been taken yet so if i can get into one of these top alliances that has a few past threes hopefully i will be able to uh, get more rewards there which will boost my gems even higher i'm very interested in vip on this account i'd like to get it to vip 10 uh, but i'm quite far off at the moment what am i nine sixty nine thousand gems away and i've only got thirty four thousand so i'm about halfway but i'd like to see that at vrp 10 before kvk would be really really good achievement there are lots more gems to come especially if i can get three past threes that would be amazing what else have i been doing on this account I haven't been logging in that much. I haven't been playing that hard, but I've still managed to get to City Hall 23. And I have done the the wall to 23. So just got to get the Siege, Barracks, Archer Range and Stables, which are not huge builds, up to 23. And then, of course, I can do the City Hall uh, for that extra, very precious, extra march capacity which does make a real difference when you're in KVK1. Hopefully I can get to 25, but I'm just going to have to get my head down and work hard if I want to achieve that. Let's have a little look. 
what Kingdom Day we're on here. We are on Kingdom Day 43. So we've got a fair while to go before KVK starts. So I'm pretty confident I can maybe get to level certainly 24, maybe level 25. Uh, and keep me under that 10 million. I will go over the 10 million perhaps when KVK starts because of troops. But of course if they die it doesn't matter. Uh, the other thing I need to show you is the old account that I was playing has now, if I go into characters, has been put on ice. And what I did do is I changed its name to the date I stopped playing it so I can track and make sure that I'll give it the full 30 days so I know that that will loop uh, correctly. And hopefully, first thing I want to do is join it with this account so that I've got two powerful accounts with some tier four uh, and a really strong farm, of course. And then the next thing I will do is loop this account and let's see if we can have some fun in KVK1. So I know I haven't posted for a long time. I'm really trying to post, uh, I'm trying to post less often. I'm playing a lot less. I'm trying to be more casual with this account. I'm trying to let Rock take a less demand of my time but still have fun playing, still put the odd video up. Um, I may make a video on how to make on my experience of making a Rise of Kingdom or a small gaming channel, because I notice a lot of people that I meet do have gaming channels of varying successes, and I think this is a great game to start your gaming channel because it's got such a great community where every alliance you join has people that will help you and maybe give you a subscribe, especially if you're churning out some decent stuff. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for staying loyal and subscribing. And thanks for following my content.